now a very interesting story. Yeah, our next guest spends most of the year riding horses on lush green grass. Make no mistake, though, Fred Mannix is not out for a nice leisurely ride. Fred is a Calgarian, Canada's top-ranked polo player. His team, Alegria, just reached the final of the Argentine Open. They lost the final match, but Fred and his teammates managed to knock off the defending champs to get into the final. Fred, is holidays, was kind enough to join us this morning on BT. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. i got to ask you right off the get-go, uh, you know, raised in Calgary, where it seems every, every kid plays, you know, hockey or that type of thing, how did you get into polo? I was very lucky uh, because just south of the city here we have the Calgary Polo Club. So during the summer months I was able to uh, learn how to ride and practice. And then my father, he would go down to California and play in the winter. So taking the whole family down there, I was lucky enough to uh, be playing polo in the winter instead of skating on the ice <laughs> yeah. up here. Okay, so if, if you're playing polo most of the time, did you, did you get a chance to mix as well, like kind of on the side? or? Well, I uh, went to school out of Vancouver and I ended up playing on uh, the varsity basketball team. Nice. So I've always been a sportsman, uh, but uh, rolled up polo. So it's yeah. taken me uh, a lot of places, and I'm I'm very lucky to do it. That's cool. I, I, I'm glad to hear it too. I mean, it. it I, I I was looking at. I like. I've never played the game. I've never watched it live. I was looking at highlights because I knew you're coming on the show, and it seems like it must take an immense amount of practice when you're on top of the horse and you have to reach a cross your body and hit the ball with the mallet you got to read the horse's body language and you like I mean how often do you guys practice well um, you're right it is quite uh, <laughs> difficult to <laughs> it just learn seems like there's so many factors to be weighed in right there are a lot of factors and that's what makes it uh, so enjoyable to play and uh, you know once you're able to learn how to ride and you really get that uh, mesh with the horse uh, going on that then that's really when the game starts taking off you can go and, and think about strategy and uh, you know really that's when the game comes together yeah, you really do bond with the horse, don't you? Because you need to read each other, right? Oh, very much so. I mean, the horses are very well trained, and uh, you, you, they're so athletic. I mean, they're looking for every little response and every little action that you're giving them to, you know, tell them where to go. So, uh, yeah. you know, it's quite a, an amazing bond between. How do you build the bond? Is it just from being on the animal, or is it like a round, or is it a whole bunch of things? Well, uh, usually at two years old, they start uh, learning how, that they're going to have the saddle on top of them, and then over. For the next five years, you slowly build them up through positive experiences, okay. and uh, if they're about seven. Usually, then I'll I'll jump on them, and uh, from there we'll see like if you know they're a, a calm horse or a nervous horse or an athletic horse or maybe a little bit mad. Uh, <laughs> I and mean, they all have their own little personalities yeah, yeah. that uh, you have to figure out so that when you're on top of the horse, you're you know as one. How do you have, like what type of horse are you looking for? Are you looking for that athletic horse with a bit of an edge, or like what do you? Well, uh, you know. It's the continuous pursuit of a horse that can <laughs> run quicker and turn faster than all the other horses. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a difficult combination to find, but uh, all the polo players I know are in the pursuit of it. Oh, looking for the perfect animal, right? Exactly. Uh, what type? So, the, so okay, we found out about the horse. What type of training do you do? Um, in, you know, in top shape and to be able to do whatever it is you need to do to win. Well, the, po the polo uh, world really has uh, transformed in the past 10 years. It's become a lot more professional. Mm -hmm. You're seeing professional trainers traveling to each spot, uh, whether it be in Palm Beach or England or Argentina. And so I'm lucky enough to have a trainer down in uh, wherever I am. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's in every morning we get up and uh, we do about an hour and a half, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of reaction, a little bit of. Uh, Weights, so mm -hmm. it's a, it's a combination depending on where you are throughout the season. Sure, sure. And and speaking of the season, when when do you get back on the horse, and when does it start for you? Well, we have a little bit of break here, and then yeah. uh, we're heading to Palm Beach here for the new year. We're going to play January through April down there, and uh, well, yeah, I'll take off kind of first of the year here. Yeah. Okay. So Palm Beach, and then you're talking about you might get a chance in the UK. Or? Yeah, it's because uh, we've had such a great season down in Argentina. When I arrived back home to Calgary, I had a few voicemails of people wanting to see what. I was doing for the English season, so we're just working on putting together that team cool. now. And uh, yeah, it would be a, a complete pleasure to go over and play. Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning, Fred. All the best. Uh, good luck. And I'm going to start following Alegria now. Oh, well, another thank you sports very much. team to follow. Yeah, everyone at home, hopefully, we can follow you along. Great looking jerseys, too. I mean, the Land Rover, one of the sponsors. What's Sancor Seguros? I don't know if that really. Oh, you did. Uh, they're an insurance company down ah. in South America, and they've been helping us with uh, all the things that we need on the farm. Cool. Good stuff. Thank you, Fred. No, nice thank to you meet very you. much. All the best. The travels.